What's going on, my PT peeps, my fighters, and my From fans? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the TV series From on MGM Plus, and I'm asking the question. What does the talisman actually do? Spoiler warning for all things from. So the talisman to me is like kind of crap. Based on the recent episode, season two, episode three, as I make this video, I'm like, okay, so the talisman, there's supposedly 12 talismans and we'll talk about that or we'll do a breakdown of an epics breakdown behind the scenes stuff of the talisman. But the stuff that happened here with Brian and Kelly makes me go, hmm. So Boyd found the talismans in the forest. Boyd does everything basically, right? So they came from the forest, are these things, and they hang them on the door. So does every door get one? I doubt it because that's you have a front door and a back door. But the talismans, they will protect the houses in town. And I don't know why it works. It's not explained yet. But you got one of these to keep the doors and windows shut and they can't get in. So what did they do before that? I doubt Boyd found it the first day he was there. So why wasn't everybody just ripped apart? But they say, they're coming, you put up the talisman, it should be up automatically, right? Every night, and you keep your family safe. So the big question is, is that the monsters and the creatures get in once they're invited in. But my thing too is like with Brian and Kelly, just because I open a door, that don't invite you in. Don't just come in, I'm seeing who's there. And the behind the scenes video on YouTube, you can look it up. It's like a do not enter sign for the monsters, is what the Fatima actress said. But people used to crawl in the bushes and find a place to hide, is what Donna said. So that's just terrible. Talisman or no talisman. That's just pretty dumb. And this guy who works for uh, From said there are 12 different talismans. They're all unique. Okay, great. But do I need more than one in each house? Front door, back door, upstairs, downstairs, because there's way more properties than 12. Does not every place have one? And is it just for the doorway that they're next to or connected with? I'm just asking questions that I wanted this to be explained more because the continuity can be like, nah, I don't know. And I'm not trying to be hard on the show or the fiction or the, you know, stuff, but it's like, what's up with these things, right? And yes, they have to have some sort of protection against the monsters. I mean, they don't. Also, can you just kill the creatures and the monsters? Like, if I do a shotgun blast to their face, are they gone? Do they get back up? Do they just come back? Is there no killing these creatures? I would like that be answered. Because it's not, in my opinion. Specific clue to that our characters don't necessarily understand yet. So the talismans, they don't understand them. As of season one and season two. We don't really understand them either, but we know it's valuable, right? And the big thing is that people are, are telling me in the comments is that the creatures were invited in. Even if there's a talisman, you invite them in, it doesn't matter. So what does it really do? It doesn't stop them. And they say religious symbols, they're keeping out the bad stuff and they're blessing the homes and keeping the good stuff in there. You know, that's good. And that's what they do. They're symbols. Like religion, every religion has a symbol that is good and bad and trying to keep the good in there so the horrible stuff we imagine that could get inside that they work is unclear but they work and the big thing is it's unclear i don't know but then michael wright president of epics at mgm television which is now mgm plus says that it will be answered right here it will be given the answer will be given at the end of the series so when's that Season two, season three, season five. We got to wait to the end, but I'm glad they have a plan for it. They're not just winging it, but it takes me back to Brian and Kelly. So this is the first time that we saw that the creatures, monsters, whatever you want to call them, didn't rip apart someone. They put the piece of rebar through her head. So Brian and Kelly were in the bar. We see the talisman on there. It's clearly highlighted here, but yet the creatures still got in. And people tell me in the comments because they let them in. But if I open the door, that does not say, come on in. Someone knocks on my door. I open the door. The person shouldn't just come in. Right? And look, I get it. This is not going to be a perfect series. The you know, continuity of things. 
It's a fictional thing, but it just makes me question, what does the talisman actually do? It's not stopping them. And I see people in a group on Facebook and they're like, I would wear a talisman 24-7. I would get talisman tattooed on my face and I would do this and I would do that. But it's not stopping them from coming in if you just open the door. So my question is, you don't have a talisman on the door. You keep it locked. You keep the curtains down. You keep everything there. Can they get in or not? And obviously, if the window's open, the door's open, they're just going to walk in. But what if it's not? What if it's closed? What if the drapes are you know, down, the door's locked, everything's there, but there's no talisman? Can they just break through the glass? I just don't know these answers. So hopefully, you guys can answer them for me. Is it has it been answered on the show? I know the big thing I keep saying in all the comments, because I break down the episodes weekly, they're like, well, the people were invited in. That's why they came into the bar and killed Brian and Kelly. So... I don't know. What do these talismans actually do? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where it'll be explained later. Like everything's explained later, 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 later. But then we're going to get to later. Will it be answered? I hope so. Hope we don't wait and wait and wait. And the payoff is actually really good compared to the buildup. So thank you guys either way. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. It's a fun discussion. It might sound like I'm being hard on the show, but I'm just interested to have stuff answered. I want, you know, I really like the show and I really enjoy it. And I just want answers just like a lot of people, but only time will tell what the actual answers are. Thank you guys either way. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love